Well, hello everybody, gonna do a little video today. I got my colt here and he's gonna go in the trailer for the first time. And I am so lucky to have horses that are easy to catch. I just pulled in here with the horse trainer and look who I got meeting me at the gate. So we'll get him caught and uh, we'll set the camera up and just show you kind of the th things that I do to get a horse in the trailer for the first time. So apologize for the road noise. We're right here by the highway. Um, don't know what I can do to help that out much, but anyway, here we go. All right, so I was just gonna go over the setup real quick. As you guys can see, you guys have been down here before with me on this. Uh, I'm on a busy highway. It's Highway 6, it bleeds between like Salt Lake City and Moab. Especially on the weekends, it's super busy. It's Saturday today, but uh, so to me, to minimize risk, I just pulled the horse trailer in the pasture, closed the gate behind me. So what I'm gonna do is, I've got the two horses caught over there. Old King, you guys have seen him a hundred times. I'm gonna put him in the trailer first. And I think the fact that old the, this PCR Pink Cadillac Colt's pasture partner is going to be in the trailer, you know, for me on these young Colts, I don't ever want to haul them in a trailer by themselves. Um, and and this is working out where both horses are going to the same place. But even if I wasn't taking both horses to the same place, I would find an older horse to ride in the trailer with that Colt for the first few times. So what I'm going to do today is just put the put King in first, tie him up, bring the Colt along. And then what we're gonna do is I got the camera or a tripod set up here. I'm gonna try to just introduce the trailer to the colt and he's not gonna jump in, I'm sure. So we're gonna just sit out here outside the door and lunge circles. It's 100 degrees out here. I'm pretty sure he's gonna wear down before I do. So the whole name of the game is he can stand out here and monkey around all he wants. If he does, we're gonna be lunging circles. If he wants to rest and go stand next to his pasture partner, that's going to be inside the trailer. So that's how we've got it set up. We'll see how it goes. It may be a wreck. I doubt it. Because old this uh, Roan Cold has been pretty sensible. Pretty much everything I've introduced him to, he's been pretty reasonable to get along with. So hopefully today's no different. So here we go. This up, so his his break time is going to be still kind of hesitating. So we'll just let him. Time we come around, he thinks about it.
head up in there a little bit better. That's the close we've got him. We're gonna let him just rest there for a second. Looking in the trailer, seeing what his pastor partner's doing in there. To me, he's starting right there. We'll just kind of keep pressuring him just a little and see what he'll do. It's like tapping with the paddle and he moves forward. I'm going to give him a little break. Just let him exercise a start see I step I stop tapping with the paddle when he puts a foot in
trying to make a nice place for him to have his head in the trailer. He sees Pastor Buddy in there. Well, according to my timer, that was 10 minutes to get him in the trailer. I think that was pretty dang good. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna grab the grain bucket, I'm gonna go in the trailer with him, give him some grain, be nice to him. We're gonna do it all over again. All right, well, sometimes getting him out of the trailer is just as hard as getting in and he hopped right out. So we're gonna just do that exercise a few times. We want him solid on it because we're hauling him to a neighbor's pasture. We don't want a big wreck when we go to pick him up. So we'll do it again. What I'm going to do right now is just introduce the trailer to him. I'm not going to exercise him. If he hesitates and box and whatever, then we'll do the same old bludgeon deal and see how it goes. You know, I might be a little bit biased, but I think that is pretty stinking good for the second time that you and Colt's ever been in the trailer. He just walked right in. We're gonna we're gonna make it we're gonna make it a good thing. He's in there eating grain. I got the grain bucket in there. We're gonna unload him and load him two or three more times. Here again, I might be a little bit biased, but you guys just seen the second time he's ever been asked to get out of a trailer. I don't know, I think it's pretty good. We'll do it again. So the fact that he led in uh, following me instead of being asked like with the lounge and the paddle, I mean, I don't know. I think he's doing pretty good. If, we, if he hops right in this time, we're just going to tie him up and go. All right, guys. Well, I couldn't be happier. This whole process from the from this year in Colt, uh, never been introduced to a trailer to where loading in and out relatively simple was about 15 or 20 minutes. Um, you know, we talk about breeding with horses. This guy is the PCR pink Cadillac, so he's a barrel racing bred stallion, and then his mother is a rain cow horse. So a little bit of a mixed breeding, but uh, still quality breeding, I think makes all the difference in the world. Things like that, you know, I mean, I couldn't have asked for that to go any better. So anyway, we're gonna wrap this up. Hopefully you guys like the stuff we're doing. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't and uh, give me a thumbs up and have a good day.